welcome back to my channel. I'm Maria Bethany and today I am bringing you my long-awaited but finally arrived apartment tour and room tour. I figured I would just combine the two because as you guys have seen in my empty apartment tour that I did a few videos back, I did the whole tour in like eight minutes. The apartment that I live in is super tiny and cute, perfect for me. It's just me living here. After all, it's my first one so I am so happy with it. The past week, I finally finally got around to going out on a rampage and buying so much decoration for it because I have been living on a blank canvas for like three months while I was finishing up school, getting settled after holidays and coming back on my YouTube schedule where I'm very much consistent. I'm so proud of that tap on the back and so I literally did all of this and waited for stuff to be shipped out in uh, about like a week I think and I'm so proud of myself for doing that I can't believe that I actually like it found my taste and was able to express it put it into my apartment exactly how I envisioned it and like it it definitely feels more like home now and it's my little sanctuary and my nest and I love living by myself it literally recommended to everyone I have so many like family friends that are coming up age now and I tell their moms and I tell them like you need to get an apartment by myself like women need a like, year or two just to have their own space because it brings you so much joy but it also brings you to yourself and you become who you really are and who you're meant to be going off in a tangent now does not even apply to this video but I just wanted this little message in the beginning because I finally realized this now and that's the whole point of this apartment tour and I do not want to brag this is just how I want to express myself and it feel like I do not want to show off I just want to share with you guys how I've been living and decorating my little place and also I've been kind of showing it off on Instagram stories and you guys have been dying to know where everything's from so this video will be perfect to share with you that before we get started of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel I post videos every single Friday morning or at least I try to you can subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button down below and right beside is the notifications button you can press that little bell to have my videos sent out to your new feed every time that I post one so you never miss out on one and if you watch to the end of this video and decide that you love this apartment tour make sure and don't forget to give me a thumbs up it'll be much appreciated thank you so much in advance and yeah i've already filmed the tour and i'm just going to jump right into it in three two one hi everybody so here is my door and uh, as soon as you come in you get greeted with this little nook that I turned into just a bookcase and a place to sit down and put your shoes for my guests or even myself when I am coming in or leaving out the door. The first thing that I loved about this apartment, and I said this in my apartment tour video, is how bright it is in here. All the walls and the cabinets are white and it just reflects and bounces the light all around. And the floor is also this beautiful gray color. So everything is pretty much this monochromatic very modern uh, style and uh, that's what inspired me to decorate and uh, use the colors that I did in this apartment and you'll see this theme and me talking about this um, throughout this video so I wanted little pops little accents of colors so I chose gold and uh, this is actually the only actual color um, in my apartment, this mauve ottoman that I got from StruckTube. I don't know if it's a North American international store, but it is one here in Canada. So I got it on sale actually for like $75. I'm so glad that I found it. And something that made me want to buy it is that it's gold in the bottom, which is another accent color that I'm using throughout the apartment. And then right beside it, I placed this concrete vase that I got from... Okay, sorry, I took a break to go check where I got it from because I wanted to tell you guys in person, technically, not just like Instagram screen or the links below, but I got it from Beauclair and it's another store here in Canada. I don't know if it's international. It's where I got it from. And then I place these... Took another break to find out what the heck this plant is called because my memory sucks. It is called a pompous plant and I found it at West Elm. It's a little bit pricey. Maybe it's literally found in a field near your house, but I am so just wrong in the brain that I actually paid $20 for this much. It will never really die or look bad because it doesn't need water. You just leave it there and it looks amazing. You guys have been asking me like crazy where my posters and 
frames are from so this one of black and white palm trees are from the Zanio. it's this store from northern european somewhere but you can buy it online like i did and i love their posters i love their design they have everything that you can possibly want they have so many styles of things but i thought that black and white picture would just look so monochromatic and minimalistic in this little space and it'll tie in with the rest of the apartment this is a 50 by 70 centimeter size by the way if you are looking for kind of like the same deal and then I framed it in this frame that I got from Ikea and spray painted it gold because it discontinued the gold color for some reason. I don't know. And then right beside it, this bookshelf is from Mayfair. It has this really nice tone of wood. This is why I got it because it tied in with like the cool tone floors and everything. Um, and so uh, in the first shelf thing, um, I put my YouTube like of 100,000 subscribers. And then right beside it, I have this cone thing i don't know what it is exactly but i got it from brazil and i it was just someone selling it by the beach and then right beside it this vase is from beauclair and then all of these books that i turned uh, the page side up is actually my harry potter book collection because i'm such a loser and a geek and i'm in the fourth book now i've been reading like one book a month um, maybe a little bit less than that because I have nothing else to do but read Harry Potter, I guess And uh, I saw a picture like this on Pinterest where they had the pages turned this way And I thought it looked so much more organized and just pleasing to the eye Because the pages of the book are very uh, graphic and the colors are like wild and out there So I was like, okay, no, we're just showing this part Looks cuter But I have other books like this is the... Okay, where was I before the camera died? We had another interruption. I have plenty of those in this video, but we're gonna push through. So I was talking about my um, unhealthy obsession with Harry Potter and that I also have other books like The Secret. I have the this poem book, um, Milk and Honey, that I haven't read in a long time. And then I also have other like classics in another drawer of mine. And this serves as my book holder thing. I don't know what it's called, but just to keep them in place so they don't fall. I got this concrete vase from Beauclair as well and right beside it, I don't know where I got this one. It's been a long time. I had it in my other room, so I'm so sorry. I forgot where I got it from. Maybe Structube or someplace like that since I only go to those two or three stores. And then right beside it, I have this vintage camera display. It's my Christmas gift from Eli, the Canon AE-1. And it looks so pretty and on brand there, so I just keep it there. Right below the shelf is this one. This is not finished, but I got this piece from Beauclair just as a placeholder there. This will stay in here because I love throwing my keys and chapstick and wallet and things in here and then uh, here i have this see-through gold um storage thing i don't know what to describe it but i got it from chapters but they also sell them at west elm and other stores like that and i keep dehydrated roses and see things in there as you can see i don't know it's like a weird collection thing but i'm planning on getting like a tom ford book because that is just so classy to have in your home i love fashion and lifestyle and home architecture books and magazines to have displayed and uh, yeah so i'm planning on decorating this shelf a little bit better especially because it's bigger so i can have more in there and then one level down again i have uh, this little gold basket i got this one from Claire as well if i'm not mistaken and i keep my new york times newspapers um they serve me as props but it's also really cute to have as decoration so i just have it there and then right beside i have my saint laurent shoe box i don't know if i'm gonna keep it there just placeholder for now but this is what it all looks like and i'm so happy with this little nook and i can't believe i actually did this i did this i have the closet and it's this double mirror double door situation i keep all of my jackets every like outerwear here as well as my toques my gloves my scarves and then i also have my entirety of shoe collection it's kind of busy i know Kind of busy and if you guys were wondering my shoe rack is from walmart and then you shift your eyes over and the hallway leads to the kitchen and basically the rest of the apartment you can see from this viewpoint it's really tiny if you haven't seen this apartment 
empty i did an empty apartment tour that i already launched on my channel a while ago when i first got it i will link it down below or you can watch it's pretty recent in my channel and you can just see what it looked like before i decorated it so you get a nicer idea of the space and uh, yeah and then i got uh, my coffee maker this one is from nespresso i love nespresso coffee i love the nicaragua one colombian one and uh, my other favorite is caramel also vanilla is pretty good too but i place it in this marble slab from chapters i used to have my jewelry necklaces laying on here but then i don't know i put it there one day and it stayed ever since i think because this kind of leaks coffee wise so i don't want it to stain the thing because it is a rental and then my blender as you can see hamilton beach i don't know if you care about that um i have this like spoon holder i think i got it from walmart i have my elsa's home some life um ellie bullen's cookbook it's all vegan recipes and i love 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 the images and pictures she took for it and her instagram is amazing if you don't know her check it out she is an amazing nutritionist and vegan and she inspires me so much but then i am so horrible that on top i have this wooden lab with also like marble thing that i also think i got from chapters yeah um and i put cheese friulano i think i'm terrible but i am doing keto right now i still love eating vegan but i am in that diet right now so i need lots of fats lots of dairy and then i have this little cheese cutter that i got from anthropology it's so cute they have lovely home stuff i have my paper towel holder it actually came with the apartment the landlord looks like super nice and he like lined the drawers and everything with the these things that I think he probably got from Walmart. Um, I have other like gold utensils, more fancy utensils, all from Anthropology or West Elm. I have my kale chips in here. <laughs> I don't know. And my sink. Yeah, I don't know if you care about that. Here on my island, I don't have much. This is mainly where I eat or do work. I have my laptop here and my planner. I just wanted to show off my planner because it is the cutest thing ever and I just got it, so I'm obsessed with it. It is from Cloth and Paper, if I believe. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry about my nails. They're terrible, I know. Um, but you can customize this. So I put a little MB there in a gold foil. And if you guys want a video or like Instagram something about this planner, I just think it's so adorable. And I'm a Capricorn. I am so anal about order and organization that this is a little bit extreme, but I, this is my Bible. I literally put the times that I need to pee in here because I'm so like, just, I'm anal, I'm anal. Wait, I'm so sorry, YouTube. Please do not demonetize this video. I did not mean to say anal like three times. Oh my God, I said it four times now, but okay, you get my point. I'm so sorry. Um, Gold Basket is from... It's the same one from my interest where I keep my keys and I think I got it from Anthropology as well. Starbucks water cup, it's like 700 millimeters. I drink one or two every single day. You guys have asked me a lot about it. It's like this nice black matte color, it's from Starbucks. Um, and then I have this little stool because I am short and I needed to reach things. I got it from Ikea. Also kitchen mat is from Simon's. It's I think from like Montreal, it's a Canadian thing. And then I have my curtain rod things from uh, urban outfitters my drapes are from ikea and then i have another poster from the Zenio. this is like a black panther it's like another um black and white poster i do not just have black and white posters you'll see other colorful ones um but i love this one um frames everything same deal so my dream has always been to own a little bar in my apartment and when i saw this corner i knew that this was going to be perfect for that so i was looking for a tiny one tiny enough to fit in this corner. So I went to HomeSense in a complete world and uh, found this, it's perfect. I love the gold brass tones and I love that it's mirror. So I don't know, kind of like opens up the space. I have all my drinks there. I have these Moscow Mule cups that I believe I found from Pier 11, Pier 1. No, it's Pier 1, I think. And it's like one of my favorite cocktails. And then right beside it, I have that coaster that is from Anthropology 
and my wine cups are from Ikea. And then this thing is HomeSense. It's just a little basket thing that I'm gonna put a plant in. I am thinking of getting a long tropical palm. I was thinking Birds of Paradise. Um, that's gonna be like tall enough to reach kind of the height of that poster because this space wall is just looking a little bit empty and I need a plant to liven up the space here in my apartment. And then around my island, I have uh, these bar stools. They are from Ikea. And then my couch. My couch is from Structube and I got it in such a good deal. I think it was like $200, $300 and everywhere I looked for a nice gray love seat, a comfy love gray love seat was like a thousand dollars and I was like, oh my gosh, I am never gonna find a good sofa that's a good size and a good color for my apartment. And then I found this one after looking so hard, so I'm so happy. If you guys have a cute little apartment like mine, I'm gonna try to find it and link it for you guys because it's literally the perfect thing. And then I just recently bought this carpet. It's from Ikea and it brings a little beige element, but it also has little streaks of gray, which blends in perfectly with the floor. So I thought it was perfect for this space and then Opposite of that wall is where I have my TV. I have this LG like 55 inch screen. I did not, absolutely not need it this size, but it actually was gifted to me. So I didn't have to pay anything for it, which I'm super thankful and lucky for. So I could not say no. I just took it and it fit perfectly on the wall, thank God. And I have it up. I know that I need to hide this cord. I just never got around to it. And I wanted to film this apartment tour video for you guys because you guys were dying to see. So I was like, okay, I'll just film it and I'll fix it up later. The apartment is definitely not finished. So maybe I'll do an updated one or you'll see it in a vlog somewhere before I move out. Right below it is this uh, TV console from Ikea. It's like this nice glossy white, it's the perfect size. And it has really good storage as well. So in this first drawer, I have all my camera equipment that please not scream at me. It's kind of messy right now. Just throwing my camera there, but I make sure to not like get a scratch or anything. At least it's put away. And then right here on these openings in the middle, I have my Chanel book that I got from Chapters and a Vogue magazine that I'm planning on buying more of just to stack more. Um, so it's a little bit higher and there's just more things to look at. And then right there, I'm going to keep a blanket on the other drawer. I have miscellaneous stuff. I have my Gossip Girl DVD of all the seasons. I'm such a geek. And then I have all my other spray paints. I have a drawer miscellaneous stuff in my kitchen island. There's storage I'm on the opposite side of it. But I literally just store like junk and documents. So I did not feel a need to show you guys that. But before I forget, a side note if you guys are interested in the couch. Um, guess what? I know you would never expect this, but the camera shut off again. Had to charge it for a bit, but I think I was talking about the spray paints. And I used the black one for the legs of the couch. So if you are interested in this couch, which I'm going to try to find a link below, it actually came in a dark wooden color. So I spray painted it black, and I'm so glad that I did because it looks so much better now and more modern and uh, looking good, looking good. Um, and then we are left with the bedroom. This is what it looks like and I'm so 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 happy with how this turned out. It is not done. I feel like there's some elements missing but for the most part it's looking good enough for me to feel comfortable showing. So let's start on this side. This wall I have this gold mirror from Ikea. It's from a very long time ago. You guys have been asking me where I got it from but it's discontinued from Ikea and I'm so sad because it's the most beautiful mirror ever. Ever. and then my bed is from Ikea as well I have this queen and then I put four drawers two here and two on the other side where I keep like pajamas yoga sets workout clothes um, hoodie sweats and then my bed cover comforter bed sheets are from urban outfitters i love this one it has like this nice cute little texture this drape i bought from boucler and i wanted this tan color because i drew a lot of inspiration from desi perkins room and her room is very nude and neutral so that's why i incorporated tan items more warm items which really contrasts between this gray cool environment 
this one it's more like warm and neutral and when the sunset hits it's the most beautiful and like comforting place to be so i got my pillows there in the back the white ones from urban barn and then the two that you see here i got from ikea and then right beside it i have my bedside table and i absolutely love it because it's black the black little legs match this one that i have here and uh, the bookshelf so demi good i got it from home sense for a steal as well and what caught my eye was the top this is so pretty this picture polaroid frame that i have pictures of me and eli in are from urban outfitters i have my fourth harry potter book and then i have my bible in portuguese and then i keep my laneige lip sleepy mask always beside me on my bedside table and then i have this piece of furniture i wanted something there to display my jewelry to display little dainty items like that um i did not want to keep it hidden like the rest of my things like my makeup and hair products underneath the, my sink in the bathroom i wanted my jewelry to have a place to be displayed this is from west elm it comes in a light very warm oak color i'm gonna link it down below but uh, just so you guys know it does not come like this this i diy'd i got a gray wood stain from uh, canadian tire like a hardware store like that and i literally took paper towel you guys and i dipped it in and i just ran through it and look like how natural and good that looks but it was just like a very lazy oops a very lazy diy that i can't believe turned out like better than i imagined okay let's start in this corner because there's a lot going on so the posters as you can guess is from the Zenio. i told you guys there's more color to it it's just more of a tan color this one's like a picture of champagne which i thought was very classy and it would go so well with this room this is kind of a tan um off-white background as well but it's just a quote that i found there and i thought it was really pretty if you want to read it just pause the video right now and have a look and then this frame i got from ikea and this frame i got from homesense when i showed you guys this uh arrangement in this corner on instagram stories asking you guys what i should do with this wall because it looked very big and blank you guys told me to hang the pictures that i had there but i don't know i don't think i can do it it looks so much prettier display like that then i have my louis vuitton box and i love the fact that it's like a drawer thing so i don't know what to keep in there but for now i have like this weird earrings that i didn't want to display with the rest of the earrings so maybe i'll have something like that in here and then right above it i have my diptych candle this one is in the amber um flavor <laughs> i already lit it a couple times and it smells divine and then i have this gold hand where i'm gonna keep my hair pins i have this one from deluxe chokers for now that says baby and i already took a picture with it check out my instagram to see how it turned out i got the hand from west elm and that's what i'm gonna do with this hand it's gonna carry all my hair pins and then right beside it i have this white heart um, jewelry holder thing where I keep my rings and uh, I think my grandma gave me this I think it's from Brazil so I have no idea where you can find something similar and then right above it I have this anthropology gold jewelry holder I have my necklaces hanging here and then right here I have my earrings hoops mostly and then here I have my bigger ones that do not fit there but I'm okay with displaying it here because it's just as pretty beside it I have this Veluspa candle and Barmo rose that i got from chapter smells so good as well then uh, this is like uh it's like wheat i don't know exactly i sound so dumb i'm sorry if you know what it is comment down below but i got it from west elm the same place that i got the other plant that i have in that jar in the entrance i put it into this glass vase that's kind of like broken here in the end i think it's so pretty i got it from home sense it was really cheap and then this white simple jar i got it from west elm we got through that and then here i have my bathroom um i have my get naked bathroom mat from urban outfitters in this mauve color that kind of ties in with the ottoman that i have in the beginning as you saw and uh, i don't know if there's much to 
um, show you guys here. It's pretty basic. That cup I got from Structube, I believe. Or no, no, no. It was Pier 1. The rug, I got this from like a crystal like shop thing. This uh, jar that I have, my Q-tips, whatever, is from uh, Wayfair. And uh, this is really weird, but uh, in the site, it said it was $13,000. I can't believe this is an actual crystal like thing but I don't think it was $13,000 I did not pay $13,000 because it was like 90% off and I got it for like 20 I just loved how like the glass was kind of broken and it was silver kind of broke up the gold and everything else in my bathroom as you can tell is silver so I was like okay let's just do a silver I have a lot of things underneath here I have my makeup collection and beside it, I have my hair stuff. I have this from Michaels that I'm gonna make a video about it, but I'll show you guys a sneak peek. It's supposed to do this, but I'm gonna like make it a little better because it's kinda like falling apart for now, but this is how I'm gonna store my makeup. It is crowded in here, but everything has its place. And one day I'll make a vlog on my second channel or a video about how I organize my makeup and hair stuff and give you guys more insight on that. And then, over here on the side, I have my salt lamp. Such a lovely light at night. It has a lot of great health benefits. It like balances the ions in the air and purifies the air while you're sleeping. It makes you happy, especially in the winter time where it's kind of depressing, cold, and dry out. Now I have uh, just my closet to show you guys. Not very interesting because there's not much to it. But I have this um, dresser thing. It's from Ikea and it's Old. It's from my old closet. I have stuff over here too. Another container that where I keep my hats, container where I keep my glasses, shades, and then I'm still moving in. Can you imagine? That bag right there is full of my lipstick things that I still need to organize and find a home for. But then right here I have my uh, bag organizer that I got from Amazon and my belt organizer that I got from Amazon. So I have all my belts here and all my bags here. Oh, 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 o